We are your home theater and AV questions answered. This is AV Rant. Want your home theater or AV question answered by Tom and Rob? Send it to question at avrant.com. Jordan B. Uh, Jordan wants to uh, get the absolute best black levels that he can afford with his projection setup. He is considering a JVC DLA RS15 projector. So that's a little bit older model, but it's still one of the uh, JVC um, DILA projectors that has fantastic black levels. So since this JVC has excellent black levels and his room is going to be completely light controlled, uh, he's going to have no ambient light at all. Would there be any benefit to still getting a gray screen or one of these so-called black screens uh, instead of just a normal white screen? So actually, interestingly, over at uh, Home Theater Geeks, they uh, just did an interview with uh, one of the sons of the founder of Stuart Film Screen. Uh, so Stuart Film Screen is a huge screen company. They've been around for about 70 years now. And uh, he, he actually talked um, a little bit about gray screens, and they have over at Stuart a new so-called black screen, which is uh, all about ambient light rejecting. So first of all, on the black screens, those really are all about ambient light rejection. And you just said you aren't going to have any ambient light, so a black screen isn't what you need. Those aren't about uh, increasing contrast from the projector or deepening the black levels for the projector um, outside of an ambient light situation where the ambient light is what is uh, washing out your image. So they're about retaining a certain black level in an ambient light situation. Now, he mentioned that the gray screen that they developed was really in response to some of the early LCD projectors that had really poor black levels. And just to get the black level darker, they created this gray screen. But it does shift the color a little bit. It does make it so that white is never truly white. Uh, so there's trade-offs. And since you're starting with a JVC projector that has phenomenal black levels already, I would not sacrifice white looking truly white. I would not sacrifice a slight shift in colors just to try and get ever so slightly darker black levels. You have to remember, black is the absence of light. There's no such thing as projecting black from a projector. So black is however black the screen looks when the projector is off. That is the maximum black it can look. So that's why this so-called black screen or a really dark gray screen in a room that has ambient light makes sense. Now the screen is darker. That is the blackest the black uh, a screen can ever look when something is projected on it. A white screen can only look as black as it does when the projector is off, but if you have ambient light, you're still seeing white, you're not seeing black, so that's as dark as it can get. But when you have no ambient light to worry about, a white screen is going to look black when the lights are off and you're getting phenomenal black levels out of the JVC. I would not skew uh, any of the color or white performance by going with a gray screen. So that's my answer there. Stick with a white screen in this situation, Joy. Want your question answered? Send it to question at avrant.com. AV Rant. Now go out and listen to something.